Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while. I've just had so much going on. I haven't had a chance to actually sit down and record a talking video for you on YouTube. And I really wanted to do a talking one, not a voiceover, because I feel like it's been so long since I've communicated with you guys and spoke to you. So yeah, today's video is um this autumn little cut crease inspired by my Instagram followers choosing all my makeup today. So if you guys want to see this look, then continue you watching i hope you guys do enjoy it i hope you like the look that i created from it and the outcome of the look i am going to come back to use at night also just to let you know if the look lasted on my face using half drugstore half high end if you guys did enjoy it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on all my social media and hop along my journey i'll see you all soon So to start off, the majority of you voted for eyebrow products to use the Benefit Cosmetics products. So I'm going to be using the Browsings first on my eyebrows in shade number 5. And then I'm going to be going on the top with the Foolproof Brow Powder. And I am going to be using that in the shade number 3. The first product I'm going to be using is the Brows. In the Browsings, it does have a um, shadow shade and a gel shade. It comes with a set of tweezers and a brush for your eyebrows also. So I'll show you how to use it with this brush also. This is the brush that it comes with. You've got two sides one obviously to set your brows with the gel and then to fill it in with the powder and guys please don't mind my nails <sighs> don't you hate it when your nails all come off except for your thumbs so yeah i'm waiting for this one to come off so i can go get my refills but moving back in we're going to be using the angle side um to the brush digging into that gel shade right here and then I'm going to start off and outline where I want my brow to sit. So just looking at the difference in the eyebrows at the moment. And then we'll come back to see the transformation. And I'm just slowly outlining a line across my brow. And filling in, see around that shape of where my hairs are, but they're lightly there. So that's why it's not giving it that arch effect. And then slowly filling in any hairs and see how I'm stroking the hairs just to give an effect of the real hair look and just stroking them down in that triangular angle shape and there you go you have that angle against the eyebrow compared to that brow so that's how I fill in my eyebrow and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other So I don't always like to fill in the bottom of my eyebrow because I do have the fullness set. I just like to fill in that arch part just to make them look much fuller. So that is that part done um, from the gel. So then we're going to go into the shadow part just to fill it in a little bit more and add some color into it. So just going into the other side of the brush and going against where you've colored in your brows with the gel. And voila, you can see the difference already, the fullness it has given. And then just going in to the other eyebrow and feeling it. Alright, so now that we're done with the brow things, I'm going to go in with my foolproof brow powder. It does come with a spoolie for you to use. The spoolie looks like this. So you open it up, it's got a brush at the end of it, you stick it in. So you'll be able to brush your brows into the style you want and then starting off with the darker shade just digging into that color and what you want to do is starting off from your tail bringing it up and down up and down and then going in with the lighter shade and to the front grabbing your spoolie from the brush and this is just going to give your brows that more fullness giving you an effect of extra hairs on your eyebrows and styling your eyebrow and voila see how i'm going up and down because this actually adds color to and from your hairs 
making sure that every part of your hair has catched onto the shade. All right, so now that we have our eyebrows on, I'm going to be moving on to my eyes. Just to begin, I'm going to be cleaning up my eyebrows and I'm going to be using the Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline and this is in Light Pale. So I'm just going to open it up, grabbing my concealer brush, dabbing it on to the area, underlining my eyebrows. And this is just going to highlight my brow and outline them and make them as sharp as possible. Alright, uh, you see how I've got a little bit of concealer on my eyebrow? That's okay, I'll just go back in with a little bit of um, the product from the brush, not adding any more product, and just going over it. So now I'm just blending that out. Tapping it around just to make sure it is set properly with no crease. And like I said, just going back in with the brush, not adding any more color. And voila! Now more concealer on your eye. Same concealer and putting that against my eyelid just to prime my eyelid. I'm just gonna dab that around. Now that you've got your brows done, you've cleaned up the shape around your eyebrow, moving on to our eyes. So everyone voted, um, most um, palette that they wanted to see was Anastasia Beverly Hills and then there was a little bit of a tinge of the Kylie Cosmetics palette. So I thought why not use them both. I'm going to be using more of Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance on my palette. This is one of my all time favourite palettes. Very soft and subtle and it's very good for autumn um, shadow shades, especially now that we're in autumn in Melbourne and Australia. So I'm going to be using this around my creases and then going in with the Kylie Cosmetics palette around my eyelid. So to start off the first shade I'm going to be moving into is Raw Sienna and it's this shade right here and I'm using that as my transition shade. So I'm just using a um, crown brush. So I'm also using a crown brush and this is in the SS027 Deluxe Blending Crease. So I'm using that to apply my transition shade. Just applying that into my creases and blending that out. Going back and forth around my crease from the eyelid to the end of my crease and just blending that around until I reach the height that I'm happy with and just keep working that around my eyelid until you see that the way you've blended it is on point and that you think that you can go in with your next shape. So the next brush I'm going to be moving into is also a crown blending brush. This doesn't have any numbers on it but it looks like this and it's kind of like a semi buffing brush. And the next shade I'm going to be moving into is the shade Burnt Orange. This is one of my favourite shades in this palette as you can tell I've used the fuck out of it. So then just going into that Burnt Orange shade, digging my brush into it and making sure you tap off the excess. As you can see this palette is amazing but the excess that falls out of it is a little bit crazy but it's all worth it. And then just blending that over my transition shade throughout my crease and just a little bit above it just so that can darken that transition shade and add a little bit of more depth into it. So then going around again, around my eyelid, working that out the lower V. We can already see the shades coming together and just making sure it's all working well. Then I just want to go back in with the first brush that I started with, just to make sure that they're blended together well, these shades, and smoking that across my eye and out. We see the difference in the colors already. And going back in with the brush and doing the exact same motion to my next eye. I'm just going back and forth to make sure everything is matching together. Just want to add a little bit of more burnt orange onto this eye. Now I'm going to be moving into the shade regular and it's more of a darker orange tone. And that's going to add a little bit more depth into my crease. In with that shade, tapping it out, I am using a MAC Cosmetics Blending Brush. And I am just adding that slowly into the inner corner of my crease, just like so. I'm not going around the whole eye yet. I'm just adding that color and depth into that corner of the crease. And once I have added that shade, all the excess from the brush is going to go around the eye to create that shadow effect. 
and that 3D tone against the other transition shades. You see how it's building up two different tones against that eye. Going in with the same brush I started off with, just to blend the colors together. And can you see how it's creating that burnt out effect around my eye? It's such a stunning autumn vibe look. I love this look to wear around autumn, winter. It brings out your eyes. It's so nice and calming. It's not too heavy, but it is like outgoing, but not too glam. So just working that shade around and having a look at the difference in the eyes already. So adding those shades in. So now I'm going to be moving in with the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette. And the first shade I'm going to be using is Burgundy. So I am going to be using that to add into the middle of my creases. Just gonna add a little bit more texture and a little bit of a pop to this look. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that actually came with um, their palette. So going in with that red tone, it is really pigmented. I just wanna tap off a little bit of the excess just to make sure that I'm not adding too much color on my eye. Then going in and adding that towards my crease just like so the corners and then using the back of the brush which is the buffing point just uh, buffing that around those shades and that's just going to create some depth in the look and add a little bit more color just to smoke it out and we don't want to add too much because we just want it towards the outer corner of the eye. You're gonna add a little shimmer or whatever color you're gonna add into the middle of your eye. And a little bit more. You don't have to go in with so much if you don't want to. This is just if you want it a little bit more smoked out than usual. Blending it, oh my stomach's rumbling. I am hungry. But my coffee will keep me full. Going back in and making sure it is all blended. And I think it has hit the consistency that I want it to be through the next thing I'm going to be doing is cutting my crease and then after I've cut my crease and added shade into my eyelid I'm gonna go back in to my eye so going in with a MAC 231 brush going in with my Adri one concealer digging into that concealer applying it on my hand just so I'm not adding too much onto my eyelid then I can go back and forth and use that and the concealer onto my brush. I'm going to slightly start off with concealing here, just so I'm not adding again too much concealer and slowly lining it around. Bring the concealer in. Go in with a another brush and clean it up i'm going to be moving in now with a flat brush and my kylie cosmetics palette i'm going to be using the shade dubai which is one of my favorite bronze tones and i'm going to apply that all around my eyelid oh how good does that look already and it's just like a dab of it oh i love it And just slowly and gently applying that around your crease. You want to slowly around the line so you're not going on top or over it. Oh, how good is that? I'm loving this shade. But just to intensify the gold a little bit more, I'm going in with the Primavera. Primavera, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it from Anastasia palette just to add a little bit of more shimmer to it and on top of that we we'll just make it more of a golden vibe yes it's giving me life right now and remember guys around the crease you just want to do it gently to keep in the line that's giving me life right now can we just aim into that Beautiful. 
absolutely loving that eye so then going to the other eye and cutting that crease also I'm going back in with my Anastasia brush that I used to do the um ready shade on my crease just adding a little bit of shade onto that and this is just going to blend these two colors together and that's just going to make them look even with each other just so they don't look harsh and unblended going back in with my Anastasia palette I want to add a little bit of darkness to the crease I'm going to be using the shade of Cypress Umber I think that's how you pronounce the last word but yeah going in with that shade just adding a little bit onto my brush and a little tinge to my crease literally just a little touch to my crease Anastasia blending brush just to blend those colors together and it's just going to add some depth to my crease beautiful now i'm just going to add some liquid liner and then i'm going to move on to my base i'm going to be going in with my all-time favorite liquid liner i cannot tell you how good this eyeliner is it was literally like only four dollars six dollars not even it was from kmart it is the elf cosmetic liquid liner i'm pretty sure you see me use this in every video i use nearly on instagram it is the best liquid liner to get your wing on point it does come with like that really thin brush it is very pigmented it gives you enough color and so easy to apply so i'm just going to show you how to use that the way i like to put my eyeliner on is making sure your eyes are open starting off with the wing and then going down and creating that and then I'm just gonna go and fill it and then I'm gonna go and connect it and continue on with the liner how about easy was that can we just take a moment to appreciate the elf cosmetics liquid liner please guys because that's something I need that quick like literally guys any makeup artist has issues with putting eyeliner on it depends on the person's eye some people's eyes just it's so hard to put eyeliner on so and like it just kills us sometimes but everyone i have used this on it works like magic hooded eyes whatever it is asian eyes anything anything this eyeliner works magic so when you're taking it out you just want to make sure that you've just like kind of slid the color across and eyes open so that way you can have the same symmetrical eyeliner and color it in all right, so now that your eyeliner is on, we can put lashes. Okay, I'm back with my lashes on and they're bigger than anyone's bullshit. So that way I can just pull it away from everyone's bullshit. But yeah, I'm just living for them right now for this look. I really, really like them. So yeah, going on to my base now. Everyone voted on Instagram. Um, a couple of you wanted the Maybelline, but majority of you wanted to see the MAC Prep and Prime. Um, Ooh, primer on my face so I'm going to go ahead and apply that I'm just squirting some out on my hand and then applying it on my face and just dabbing that around okay, so now that my face is primed I'm just going to push my hair back out of my face so that way I don't get foundation so everyone took a vote between four foundations a lot of you wanted 67 actually percent of you wanted to see the mac and 63 wanted to see fenty beauty foundation so i'm going to use both of them as i'm not so tanned right now for this color but i love this foundation and i always mix it with something else so i'm going to use the face and body foundation from mac and i'm also going to use the fenty beauty um, um pro filter foundation from rihanna this is in the shade 170 and this is in n5 so i'm just going to apply both of those onto my face i'm just squirting some a mac foundation out I love this like it's so amazing then just squirting some Fenty and you see the color difference in that so it's gonna give me a good tone onto my skin I'm just gonna push those around everywhere just to blend those colors I 
I'm just going to use my favorite foundation brush at the moment. This is from Crown Brushes. It doesn't have a number on it, but it's like a kabuki brush. It reminds me of the Sigma Beauty brushes. This is really amazing to blend out your foundation. So I'm just going to dab that around and blend out my foundation. And it's already giving me such an amazing tone against me. Looking nice and flawless already. I really, really love the MAC foundation. Mixing it with the Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty is really, really good on your skin. It gives you that nice skin color tone and flawless look around your skin. And I don't like to bring my foundation up to my eyes, but when I get to that point, I just dab it around. Just so it sits nicely for when I do my concealer. And for dry brush, this is from Crown Brushes also. It's a C490 brush. It has two sides to it. And I'm just using the smaller side just to get in between my brows and everything like that. I have never actually tried the Fenty and the MAC together. I usually put MAC with like a NYX or a lighter MAC shade or a Huda Beauty or something like that. So these two tones are really giving me life right now. I think I'm going to wear this more often, especially sitting on top of the MAC and, um, primer. It's sitting really, really nicely against my skin. I wanted to see drugstore concealers and highlighters on my face. So I'm going to give you guys the best drugstore concealer for $3. Literally $3. This is from Essence Cosmetics. All you got to do is squeeze it out as I did. It comes out as concealer. It's in a tube. It was literally $3 from Priceline, Kmart, Target, wherever you find Essence Cosmetics. It's only $3. I live for this concealer. Honestly, live for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that under my eyes. And can you already see how much pigment this has inside of it? Like, oh, loving it. And down my nose to highlight my nose, just my forehead. Put a little bit under my cheekbone just to make it more precise. Down my smile lines and a little bit on top of my cupid. Go back in with my duo brush. And using the other side to that, I'm just going to blend out my concealer around my eyes, bringing that all the way under my under eyes and around my nose, just so that way the contour sits nicely. So can you see how nicely this concealer is already sitting on my skin? It's really good. I really, really highly recommend that. And only for $3. How can you go wrong? Out. Just when I get to here, I like to blend it downwards so that way it just kind of cleans up the contour. How nice and highlighted and flawless my skin is absolutely looking. I use a high end foundation with a $3 highlighter under my eyes. $3. $3. Dollars. It cost three dollars compared to even another drugstore concealer Maybelline. I absolutely love this. I can't like diss it whatsoever, but it does the same thing. It literally does. My concealer is looking flawless. So going on to my contour using a drugstore. I'm going to be trying the BYS contour and highlight stick. Let's see how good the BYS. It has a highlighter at the end of it, but I'm going to use a contour side to it. And applying that like so, and let's see how good this blends out, or if it doesn't blend out. Applying some under my lip, it just makes your lips look a little bit bigger. Gonna be going in with my Zuva Luxe face paint brush, and this is in the number 109. Blend that out. Mm, so far, so good. It's not looking too bad, it's blending out nicely. I'm not blending out too harsh and it is pretty easy to blend out. I'm going against my forehead, lifting the contour up always against your face. And down towards your chin just to change the structure. So the contour is looking okay. It's not my favorite. It could be a little bit easier to blend out. Can you see how I have to just push a little bit towards there? It's not looking too bad. It's giving it a nice structure. It's actually structuring my face really nicely. It's a little bit more creamier. It would help to not give it such a muddy effect. Nose contour. Okay. 
it's not too bad for three dollars too i guess you can't go wrong it does the job you can see how long it will last i can give you the instagram review on how long it will last but it does the job yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and bake my face and set the um highlight and the contour i am going to be using the bys um contour trio it does have your highlight contour and highlighter shade so i'm going to be using the middle shade just to bake under my face my girly cosmetics um vegan vogue set brush and i'm just going to go into that digging in and just applying that under my under eyes i really love these brushes for baking under my cheekbones where i would contour and bringing it towards my mouth and down my nose i like it i like this baking color i don't think i've ever baked with it like this use this once or twice literally just to for the contour part but this baking powder is me life then I'm going to be going in with the contour shade here. Set my contour. My eyes are baking also. I just want to do under my under eye shadow to smoke it out. And going back in with my Anastasia brush that had that red shade. And applying that under my under eyes and smoking it all the way out. Pink brush and a wipe away my bake. Moving on to my highlighter and I'm going to be using the new Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter. It is amazing. It looks stunning and just from... Oh my god! Alright. Okay. I'm not even going to talk. I just want to put it on right now. Brown brush here to apply my highlighter. And it looks like so. And look at my brush. Oh. Yes. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's speaking to me. Yeah. I voted for high-end lipstick, so I am gonna be using the Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Shroom. So I'm gonna be applying that all around my lip. some eyeliner in the inner corners of my eye and I'm gonna be using that little brown shade in the Anastasia palette. I really like this autumn look inspired by my Instagram followers choosing all my makeup on my face then yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social media with the links right here and yeah don't forget to come along my family and hop along with you all for watching and i'll see you all at my next video so this is my result this is 10 a.m at night and my makeup is still looking flawless highlighter is still on fleek lashes shadow brows everything is still on point concealer contour except my lipstick I have ate and I've drank, I've, you know, just done my daily routine, being a mum, cleaning, everything. The only thing that didn't stay was my lipstick from licking my lips, eating and everything else. Um, you can retouch that if you'd like, but other than that, everything is still on point. So I'm really, really happy with the results of this look. So if you guys did enjoy it, just please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hop along. Look at that glow. Oh, yeah.